Hi, Pastor Schmidt here again on yet another beautiful day that the Lord has given us here in Naples, Florida. What a great, beautiful day. First thing I got to tell you before I forget, there was a beer tasting and bingo evening planned for this Sunday, but it has been canceled. FYI, the beer tasting and bingo has been canceled. Okay, I was thinking about what I should talk about today, and the idea of family kept popping into my head. Why? Because this last weekend I wasn't in church. I took the weekend off because all of my siblings flew down from Minnesota and North Dakota and my mom, and we had a weekend together, and we had a great, great time. Um, it had been a long time since we had all been together like that. In fact, it had been 20 years. For a variety of reasons, too. Uh, life, moving, children, family, jobs, even some ill will amongst us that we have worked out. Yeah, pastor's families aren't perfect. We have problems, too. But we worked it out, and uh, we all came together and just had a great, great time. And... I was thinking, okay, what Bible verse can I read that talks about family? Well, there's this great one from 1 Timothy, and it's chapter 5, verse 8. It says this, If anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for his immediate family, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Wow, worse than an unbeliever. How can you be worse than an unbeliever? An unbeliever, if he dies without, if, if, he, if he dies as an unbeliever, you go to hell. What's worse than going to hell? I don't know. And I don't want to find out. And I don't want you to find out. So he's told us, if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for his immediate family, he has denied the faith. So we have a responsibility to take care of our earthly families. And... I, I want to hope that I that I did that this last weekend. I, I wanted to provide a fun, happy, satisfying, comfortable, tasty place uh, and, and opportunities for my brothers and sisters. And uh, I hope I did that. I tried real, real hard to take care of my family, to provide for them. Well, providing isn't just a mom and dad's job. It isn't just a grandma and grandpa's job. It's everybody's job in the family to provide for each other. And we just don't provide a, a house and food in the refrigerator. We take care of our families in all sorts of ways. The biggest way is to love them, forgive them, take care of them spiritually, discipline them, rebuke them when they need that so that they get back on the right track. Providing for your family means all sorts of things. And I must admit, I'm not perfect at that. I have failed in so many ways as a provider for my family, as a son, as a brother, as a husband, as a dad. The list goes on. I haven't been the best. I have failed. But, woo, thank God for this verse that you might even hear on Sunday if you come to church says this in 1 John chapter 3, How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. Oh, we are children of God. We have been made a part of God's family. How? Because he provided his son to be our perfect substitute, to be the perfect dad, to be the perfect mom, to be the perfect son, to be the perfect daughter, to do everything to make us his children. He provided his love through his son, Jesus. And because of that, we are now children of God. Oh. And it's that being connected to God's family that gives me and you the power to love our moms and dads, to love our brothers and sisters, to love our sons and daughters when it is not always easy. Because it is not always easy. But we are here to provide for them. And the greatest thing we can provide for them is a Christ-like 
example, a life that points them to the love and forgiveness found only in Jesus. Praise the Lord. You have family here on earth, and what a blessing that is. Praise the Lord. You have been made a part of God's family through Jesus Christ. Have a great weekend, y'all. Take it easy. Bye-bye.